Hello, 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 my name is Hector. Welcome back to Sky Factory 4. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Last episode, we did, we got an airship. We got ourselves a little airship, which is parked there, the Nostromo, and we did some other stuff as well. And I said, I said, we were going to basically, because we'd, we'd kind of done a lot of these things now, like all of the easier ones, I wanted to have a look at some of the other mods that aren't actually mentioned in uh, the advancements tabs. Uh, and one of them is Ender Utilities. Ender Utilities is a great and very frequently overlooked mod, and it really shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. So I thought we'd have a look at it. So uh, we already had uh, the inventory, if you remember, that we got from Cyclic by eating one of the upgrade inventory cakes, I believe. We also got a crafting table. Um, so we can access those, and you can see I've emptied up my um, my inventory there, and that's because I have made one of these handy bags. Now, I've made the large version, uh, which is, you know, it's a little bit... Well, actually, it's not that pricey. You know, that's the more that's the most pricey. And that's obsidian. Um, so you know, it's not too bad, really. So I've made myself a handy bag. And what happens? And uh, there it is. What happens when you have this in your inventory? That happens. Look at that. So we get a huge, a huge thing. Now, as you can see, though, like, there's a lot of stuff here. Don't worry too much about that. It's not. It's not that complicated. Um, but there's a lot of. Um, things now right now we cannot access that and what you need is a memory card so there are different memory cards and this is how they're made so these get a little bit pricier um eight uh, and then tens and then twelves i would just go straight for the twelves because it's obviously the largest and you can easily make uh tens like this so you don't have to craft like you know loads of eights to get then a ten. Uh, even though you can do it that way, it's better to just craft the tens than uh, craft the twelve. So if you can see, it can store packs in up to whatever bits. Right click to toggle. Yeah, sneak right click to clear owner data. Sure, whatever. But what we can do with that is put them in there, and now you can see. Oh look at that! I have all of this stuff. All of this stuff in that memory card. And I also have these as well. I've got these like side slots as well. Now, all of this stuff, you can see that just sorts the item, which that does there as well. So I presume if I did something like that, that would, there you go. Uh, same with that there. Um, block quick actions. So I can block, I think that just means from like it, <clears throat> if I want it to um, like shift click stuff in basically, I think you can do that. Uh, and update items, yeah, fair enough. So all of that is fairly easy. Now, what you can do is, obviously, there's space for another three memory cards. So just by doing, you know, putting another one in here, you can easily switch through a lot of different inventories, which is really rather good. Like, that's a lot of inventory space right there just on our person. So that's pretty great. So that's the first thing that I just wanted to show you guys. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a few more of these bad boys and uh and get myself like the maximum amount of inventory that i possibly can we are in the end uh and i've just placed down a, an ender crystal because you'll you'll kind of need some of these uh for some stuff in ender utilities to work so you can make an ender crystal like that and then just pop it down on the bit of bedrock and we should be able there we go uh we can charge those ender cores and i think i've got an ender capacitor as well uh, and we should be able oh look at that we totally can totally can now what i haven't tried is doing this in the overworld i don't know if that works it would be interesting if it did there is in here and uh, there's the ender something relic i think is that it no ah there we go the ender relic and spawns a new ender crystal so you can see that you're kind of not really meant to do it like this you're meant to do it with the ender relic uh, which is oh hey oh uh, which is a little bit more expensive because of the dragon's breath. But, well, we can do it this way, so I'm kind of, I'm all right with that. But that's because these ender cores and ender capacitors are basically used as charge. Oh, that's only, okay. Do Can I charge it more? Let's have a look. 250, yes. 375, 500,000. Okay, so you can just keep clicking on it. Okay, so I don't know what... I don't know, I understand how exactly that works, but ender cores are used for certain items and ender capacitors are used to charge said items. So it's kind of like RF, but um, 
it works in the end capacity, I suppose. So I'm going to head back uh, to the overworld and then we're going to make some items with these things. So what I have here is the tool workstation and I've got a few things in here already. So I've got the ender pickaxe, which is fairly easy to make. And there you go. And there's different varieties of, of stuff that you can do. But I thought we'd try the pickaxe. I've put these module storages in. I don't know. I don't know if these work that way. I do not know. I've never actually tried uh, messing around with this part, but I thought we'd we'd have a go now. Uh, as you can see, that is there. There you go. That changes that. Uh, and the capacitor, bam, there we go. And this is a link uh, crystal. This link crystal, there's, there's three types. There's location, there's block, and there's portal. So portal ones are obviously done for the portals. We've got one of those portals over there, which is rather nice. Um... I'm using the location one, which is set to that chest there. So I'm kind of, I want to see how this, how this runs, basically. Um, I don't know. Now, there's, you can obviously, there's a couple more um, spaces for that. And there's also this thing here. And if you, if you press shift, you can see it says creative like breaking module. No. Um, and that's because it's, and the next line, it says creative bacon enabled. No. So that's why uh, there's no thing for creative breaking, which is a bit of a shame, but let's see what happens. And you can rename stuff as well. I think you've got to put an item to rename. Um, so I presume doing that. Ah, okay. So module storage, maybe that's just for this then. I don't know. Uh, and we can rename it here then. Okay. I'm all right with ender pickaxe for now. Um, right. Let's see then. Can I do anything else? Ender core dig mode drops normal. I don't know if there's like a no, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Um let's get some cobble and see just how this works. I don't think I'll end up using this, but it's interesting nonetheless. Um Oh interesting. Okay, so even though that does that, it hasn't gone into this chest, which is what I would have thought would happen. Huh. But it says drops normal. Now then, okay, how do I how do I do this then? Let's have a look in controls quickly. Um I would have thought that that just did it like that. Apparently not. Right, ender. Let's have a look. No, come on. Ender utilities. Ah, toggle mode. Right. Um ah, this is gonna Oh, right bracket. There we go. That wasn't too bad. So right bracket. Aha. What does that mean? What's it done? What's it done? Um, drops. Oh, dig mode fast. Okay. Great. Um, is that it? Is that, is that all it's done? Dig mode fast. Yes, but drops normal. Okay. What can, what's the other, what was the other binding? Uh, where are we? Then activate unselected. <sighs> I feel like that isn't going to do much else. Oh, apostrophe. Okay. Um, apostrophe. I don't know. I don't think that's done much else. That seems a shame. So it doesn't look like we can. Dig mode is a lot faster though. Okay. Well, that is a little bit, that is a little bit disappointing. Let's see how fast this is. Eh. That is remarkably underwhelming. Well, that's a bit of a shame. And you can see, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that we can't um, repair this in here. Let's have a look, though. Oh, N no, it doesn't look like it. Unless it has, and it was just so full that I couldn't tell. Charge, oh, 500,000. Let's have a look, then. Let's have a look. So, charge. Oh, no, this charge is still at 500,000. Well, I do not know then. I do not know exactly how that works, but there you go. You can do this with, obviously, other tools as well. What I want to try now is the Wand of the Lazy Builder, um, which can do a lot of stuff, apparently. Uh, it's a little bit insane. So let's let's have a look at that. Right, I've been messing around with this a little bit more, and I've, I've got it to work. So uh, you can see it's actually blue now. And if you click Shift and the toggle button, you can see it going to different things. So if I've got it on the purple, that is to the player. So it drops to the player. So basically, uh, it, it goes straight into my inventory. So it's like a magnet mode, which is pretty great. I've got my magnet turned off as well, just to show you. And uh, if we shift toggle again, uh, it says drops to remote. Now, I was using the wrong crystal. Uh, I was losing a location crystal. You actually need a, a block 
crystal, which does make sense. Um, so I've got it. Oh, hey, whoop. let's get that back. There we go. So uh, now you can see it basically vanishes. Uh, and that's because, no, nope, wrong chest. It goes in there. So seven. There we go. Eight. Look, see at that. And I want to see if that actually overrides my magnet. Oh, it does. It totally does. So that's rather interesting. So that could be a nice thing to have just in case. So that's pretty good. Now, the annoying thing, the way I found this out uh, is if you, if you, I'm just holding shift for that. If you do it on there, a lot of the, the toggles basically are that they're gone. But if you come back to here, you can find out all of the toggles again. So it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird to have to do that uh, and kind of remember how it works basically through just toggling here and finding out all the stuff. So that's how I that's how I figured that out. But just so you're aware, and that's I'm guessing the same with this. I've got um, the builder, the lazy one of the lazy builder, and it, it doesn't tell me anything here. But if you come over here, it's got all of those toggles which is just absolutely crazy and I don't even understand most of it. So I need to figure this out and <laughs> try and show you. Right then, whilst I'm uh, still trying to figure out the wand of the lazy builder, I thought we'd have a look at this, uh, the AEP. So let's have a look. Uh, Ender, there it is. The advanced Ender Porter. So there's a uh, just a normal Ender Porter and there's an advanced version, which is a little bit more expensive, but, you know, not that much at this point. Uh, and this can basically transport, um, teleport the player or uh, cross-dimensionally. So this one, the normal Ender Porter, doesn't do that. It's not cross-dimensionally. The advanced one is. Uh, and the way it works is if we put it in here... You can see you need an ender capacitor and then these link crystals. And these are the green ones that are, you know, just normal ones. Now, uh, I set one to home and I set one, another one. And don't forget, these can be changed. So let's change it. Uh, portal, uh, portal area. I don't know. And uh, let's just call it that for now so I can vaguely know what is happening. So. This one is right now set to home uh, and basically the way it works is that you hold right click and then once it stops charging you just let it go and it will it will change uh, and to change the um the link crystal uh, you need to control and then toggle so I've got that set to right bracket as we did earlier in the episode so yeah control and right toggle and then portal area let's have a look Bam! And this is my surface little portal area, and that is my portal. They made me like a little stargate, which is rather lovely. Uh, so all of the portals here, and then of course, uh, going back, let's go back home. There we go, and uh, boom. And that's how we've got that. So I can... I can basically link this to different dimensions, which is actually quite nice. I don't have to keep going to my uh, my chocolate, no, my cake patisserie, cakery thing. Um, but, you know, it's nice to have that there anyway. But that's just quite a handy little thing to have here and there. If I get lost in another dimension, I can always get home. So that's quite a nice thing. Now, um, rather than continually going uh, to the end and charging this up, because obviously all this takes charge uh, from the ender capacitor, one way of doing it is the ender infuser, and basically uh, it takes ender pearls. I think it might take eyes of ender as well, maybe? Um, where is it? Ender infuser? Ender pearls of eyes of ender, there you go. One of the three charging options. Now there is a whole different thing that you can do, um, set up in the end to charge all of this stuff using... Uh, I can't remember what they're called. Is it these? No, I don't know where they are. There's a whole setup that you can do in the end to charge this automatically. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use... Ah, using these, basically. There you go. It's not too hard to do, and you need to set one up in the end around a crystal and then one in the overworld around a crystal. Um, so I'm not really going to bother with that, and I think this will pretty much do us and there you go so i think each ender pearl is like a thousand charge uh, so it takes obviously a fair 50 50 ender pearls to get up to full charge but i think for me ender pearls not really an issue but that's another nice little thing uh, in ender utilities welcome to the drawbridge which is a very very exciting block there's a drawbridge and an advanced drawbridge uh, and this this kind of block used to be in um 
in modded Minecraft a lot, and it sort of went away, and it's a shame because it's an awesome block to have. So basically, what happens? Uh, what happens is you can mess around with this, and uh, you can increase the length um, like that. I've just shifted then, uh, and if you right click, it goes down. Left click, it goes up. Uh, and yeah, if you if you shift click in either direction, it adds like eight at a time uh, and then the delay so this is the option so let's put it up to eight and then you put in your blocks like that that is set to extend when powered and i've got a, a delay of four right now what that does oh look at that oh oh that's interesting i didn't even think that was going to happen uh let's just let's just do that for a second um there we go so it extends up to eight and the delay basically is the thing that that kind of uh, tells it how fast to go. So I've put a delay on of one tick now, and you can see that is almost instant, which is really rather cool. And then obviously I can do that, uh, bam, and that is a lot lot slower. But that's just like a little cool thing that you can do. I really like that. That's like so awesome. Now, what is the advanced drawbridge, you might be asking? Well, that just gives you uh, a few more options, basically. So uh, let's put in some length. There we go. So another eight. And you can see now we have we have actual slots here. And what you can do, what you can do is stuff like that. So yeah, I'll leave it up to that. There you go, and you can add different blocks. Now, you may be wondering, well, if I wanted a block like oak wood, I don't actually want it to be facing up. I want it to be side on. Well, we can, I, th I believe, I do believe that we can achieve that. Uh, nope, that's the wrong side. There we go. By doing it like this. So by placing it first of all, like so, uh, and then coming to the advanced drawbridge, and then it says take block states from world. So there we go. So we should now, there we go, lovely stuff. And that just helps with certain things. So I'm guessing things like stairs and slabs, uh, you'll have to place first if you want it in a specific direction, but that is really rather excellent. So I want to be using this in a build at some point, especially with the same system that we have here, um, whereby I have this automatic system for detecting a player uh, and giving it a redstone signal. How cool would that be with like uh, some kind of door system? That's kind of what I want. So, oh yeah, the drawbridge, the advanced drawbridge and drawbridge. Very, very cool blocks. Okay, I've just about, I think, got a bit of a handle on the, uh, the lazy, what's it called? Wand of the Lazy Builder. There's a lot of options, there's a lot of things, and again, the same thing, shifting on here doesn't tell you anything, but shifting on here gives you like this huge list, huge. So I'm not going to go through all of this because I still don't understand all of it, um, but what I do understand, I will try and kind of convey a little bit. So the most things that I'm guessing people will be using this is things like walls and columns and things of that nature. So to... um. Let's just have a look-see. Uh, there we go. Let's... Nope, not you. There we go. Let's just put you down. So to select an item, you can see I've, I'm on cobblestone right now. I think... Nope, that's not correct, apparently. Let's put you... Let's put you... Let's try that again. Uh, I thought it was shift-click, but is it not? Huh. Uh, oh, man. I've already I've already forgotten what the initial one was. Now then, it's been so long since I selected a different block. I've just been <laughs> I've just been using. Oh, and I've I've made my map big. There it is. Um, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look quickly. And uh, change mode. No, oh, man. Control shift. Control alt shift. Uh, alt sh sneak. Oh, man. I can't remember. Sneak left click. Ah, uh, store the block type. Sneak left click. There we go. Right, man. So many different things. Okay, so we've set that. We've set that now to oak wood. So to change the modes, so you can see this block, there's all the area flip stuff, which is all set to no. I'm leaving that right now. But to change those, you basically either shift, control, or alt, and toggle. 
So one of those will do one of those, basically. Uh, to, sh to change the blocks, uh, don't worry about that right now. I think you can basically store a lot of different block types, but uh, let's not just get into that. For, for me, from right now, the modes are the thing where it's at. So to do that, I'm control and scrolling the, my mouse wheel, okay? That's how I'm doing this. So let's go to column. Let us go to column. Uh, I've done that again. There we go. So uh, I've moved that there by by left clicking that box on there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is shift and hold uh, and scroll upwards. So I'm doing that in like the direction that I'm looking at. Basically, if I if I were to do that, I think it should do that as well. Still, let's see. Are you doing it? Yes, you are. Okay, cool. So that does that basically. And then if we right click it puts them all there, which is rather nice. And this basically, that kind of thing works for a lot of the, can I? Oh, can I not, can I not get these back? There we go. Um, that basically works for most of these uh, modes, pretty much. Uh, so line, let's use walls. So I did that there. Um, oh, can we not, can we not do this to a different, different location see this is the thing about the um oh man this is the issue with there we go so i'm i'm trying to <laughs> i'm trying to get it to uh there we go right that's gone to one block so uh i'm guessing can we just click on the air in the air is that a thing that we can do no oh man it's such a great mod, but because there's so little documentation on it, it is really hard to figure out what I'm, what I can do and what I can't do. Um, oh, so I've got to click on the air. Okay, so let's maybe put a floaty block down. I, I sort of just want to see if I can move this around, um, and if so, like, oh, there we go. Oh wow! Oh dear! And that's just like, <laughs> that's just done everything. So let's try and, so I'm shifting and using the scroll wheel and I'm kind of doing it in the direction. This is seemingly how I'm getting this to work. There we go. So let's go up a little bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, shifting scroll mouse and then the direction. There we go. There we go. Now I'm sort, oh, no, I want to go up. There we go. Right. Excellent stuff. And then. And sometimes it won't do immediately, so you kind of have to hold it. Hold right click, there we go, and then release it and it, it does it. So there we go. So that is basically how it's done. I don't know why that one, oh how weird. So I've just literally only had enough to do all of that, did I? And that, <laughs> that one's done. So there's a the thing, it is, it is a very good, it is a very good system, but it is, I don't think, an easy system to kind of get all the modes sorted out. So use at your own kind of peril, I suppose. Why? And apparently it doesn't really like or excavator after a bit as well. It, it seems to clash a little bit with that. There we go. But there you go. That is, can I? There we go. Uh, that is Ender Utilities. It is a great mod. Uh, for me, the big thing has always been in this mod is the extended inventory, which is really rather excellent. And there's there's a lot of stuff even in that that I haven't gone over. So, for instance, uh, I've got cobblestone here. If I did that, it takes it straight to there, which is rather excellent. And that works uh, the other way around as well. So, move matching items. That is pretty great, which means if like you're ever mining and stuff, you can basically just shove stuff in, in there really quickly. If you've got loads of stuff in your inventory, you can just kind of quickly do that and it will go um, to the correct inventory slot. Will it? Are you doing it? Oh, accept hotbar. There we go. Bam. Lovely stuff. So there we go. That is Ender Utilities. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode. We're going to do another one of these, uh, I think, at some point on a another mod. Oh, look at that. The sun going in between the donut. Uh, because I think, I don't know, I don't know why these kind of mods aren't really part of the advancement tab. I think they should be because they definitely deserve to be. So if you did enjoy it, liking, commenting, subscribing would be very lovely of you. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about Endo Utilities. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. I've been Nectar, this has been Sly Factor 4, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.